the grime procedure here, and let's take a look at deriving f equals ma. So to help with this derivation, we need to ask ourselves the question, what do uh, baby Yoda and your mom have in common? And that is that they can both make you cry. Uh, and also, uh, taking baby Yoda, right, he's got this weird hand symbol that he does. That's going to be the proportional symbol there. And with your mom, what I want you to visualize is your mom, your mom. You have to use your mom. I didn't have a picture of your mom here. Uh, but uh, getting from younger to older and older back to younger. Okay, so it's the rate of change of your mom, right? That's going to help us in the first instance because what we want to do is we want to say the force, baby Yoda, is proportional to the rate of change of mom or momentum. So that's going to help you remember the first step. Once you have that, the rest is going to fall out real nice. We're going to say F for force is proportional to uh, delta P over T. P here standing for momentum, right? Um, so that's the delta there stands for change of momentum, that little uh, triangle. So P to remind ourselves is mass by velocity. Uh, but we're saying change of momentum. So what we're gonna say is the final momentum, which would be MV, minus the initial momentum, which would be MU, all over the time T. Okay, in our next step, all we're going to do is we're going to factorize this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the m's. And I get v minus u all over t. Now at this point, what we want to realize is that uh, v minus u over t is acceleration. Acceleration is the final velocity minus the initial all over time. So I'm going to replace this entire part of the equation with the letter a. So that gives us our equation here. f is proportional to m a. Now we're almost there at f equals m a, but we have to get rid of this proportional symbol. Now to do that in physics or maths or anything, um, what we need to do is we need to add a constant. Okay, so the constant we're going to add is k. k for constant. Now, what is the value of this constant though? So what happens then is a bunch of scientists go out doing science and then they uh, figure out what the value of that is. And they did loads of science and they realized, hey, uh, this value actually is the number one. Well, that's convenient. So this made the equation become F equals MA, because we just dropped that K, or the K is 1, do you get me? Now, the thing is, why is K 1? Well, it actually just is, right? Newtonian mechanics is called. So in day-to-day -day mechanics, it is just 1. Now, what do you need to know for the exam for the Leaving Cert? Well, what I always suggest to my students is have a point here to start with, right? Uh, so baby Yoda, proportional symbol, rate of change, your mom, mom is short for momentum. Then take the examiner through the steps, right? Don't just drop this proportional symbol magically halfway through, okay? Uh, make sure to show them what you're replacing, particularly you must show them this guy that acceleration is V minus U over T. And a big one that students sometimes leave out is that they don't mention any of this K business. They just skip from here to the end and you do lose marks in a Leaving Cert for not having that. So make sure to have each step along the way. Best of luck in your Leaving Cert. Hope you found that useful. If you did, then uh, like or subscribe or check out the other social medias where I'll be adding extra resources. If you want something particular made, then just leave me a message on one of those platforms and I'll do my best to get around to it at some point. Best of luck in all your exams.